Hello, plant people. It is Nora, the Lekker Queen here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today, we are going to be rehabbing my Syngonium Fantasy. This is my Syngonium Fantasy here. And some of you might know that I do not really like my Syngonium Fantasy because it loves throwing out all white leaves. All white leaf, all white leaf. Or white leaf so there's a strain there's a stream of this plant that's just throwing me all white leaves and I am going to get rid of it I am going to chop it off and I am going to put up this new Syngonium fantasy that I have that has almost zero all white leaves I am going to combine this plant with this plant and I will also be adding in some cuttings. I have some Syngonium cuttings that I took from defective plant and I will put those in there. So it's a big Syngonium rehab job and I will like you to come along and do this with me. So let's get started. So the first thing I am going to do is get my Syngonium and actually get it out of this pot. So I've got the lecker here and I will just gently get the plant out of that pot. So that's what my plant looks like. Um, dead roots, and that's quite common, you will find that, especially with plants that have been transitioned from soil to lecker with the original soil roots there. So that's what that looks like. But what, what I do want to do is actually go and wash this off and just make sure that only viable roots are remaining in that. So I've washed off the plant and these are the viable roots and it's all looking really, really nice. It's all looking really, really nice. The roots are clean, but I do want to show you something that's really you know, that's, that's interesting about variegated plants. When you look at this stem, you've got the white part of the stem, but this side also has the green part. So that's, that's, that's usually what variegated um, plants look like. But then what's happened with this particular plant is this branch here, you can tell this branch here, that's giving me the all white leaves that's coming from the white portion of the stem only so this will only ever give me white leaves so I have no choice but to actually just get rid of this portion of the plant because that's just not going to do anything so I'm gonna chop that up I've got a blade that I sterilized earlier and I am going to remove the section that gives me all white leaves so that starts there. So I'm just going to chop that up. So that's the bit there. That's just all white. It will always be all white. So that is gone. And I am left with, I could actually probably go even lower. No, that's fine. That's fine. You can see that that bit there where I've cut off, that just came from the white portion only. So what I'm now going to do is attach my cuttings and my other plant to this pole so they can all start to grow together. So this is a cutting that I've got here. Um, cutting there, I will put that over there. This is another cutting although that's also showing that all white component there so I'll get rid of that one and just be left with that attach that there this is my plant my new fantasy plant that I am now going to attach to this one So making sure that the root system is all below the moss because I don't want my roots being in contact with the wet moss. And then of course, I've got my plant tie. I've 
I've got my plant tie, soft portion to the plant. And that goes over there. So that's what my roots now look like. And I am going to put this plant back in the pot with the lecker. So that is now my new fantasy. So when I do this with the plant, I always take the opportunity to wash out the pot. So that's all nice and clean and give the lecker a wash or change over the lecker if I need to. So just fill one third of this pot with lecker. That just sits on top and I fill the rest of this pot with lecker. Giving that a squeeze to make sure that all the lecker is appropriately positioned. So when I give it a squeeze, I actually get more space coming up and I fill that up with lecker. So my pot is filled with lecker. So this is my fantasy that is now looking lovely, lovely and lush. And you will notice that this pole, this moss pole actually doesn't have a metal rod at the back. It's still very, very small and is quite able to, to be supported by the lecker. So it's not going to fall over. When the plant gets bigger, then I'll probably put a metal rod to support it. But for now, this is my new and improved lovely Syngonium Fantasy Elbow and I look forward to it looking even more majestic than my mojito. So yes, that's how you can get your plant to look lovely and bushy and get it to look exactly the way you want. So thank you so very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.